Welcome back WBP stars for uh, our main course today, um, which is with uh, Wagyu beef uh, from Japan. Actually, um, this is uh, called uh, Ozaki beef. So it's from uh, Munehara Ozaki. Uh, he's the only uh, um, Japanese, uh, um, actually, Wagyu producer who is allowed to put his name on the brand. So normally you will find uh, Kobe beef or Matsuzaka, Wakayama, uh, uh, beef like that, because all, all these uh, farmers give their beef to, um, to, uh, to the city to actually um, uh, sell it. And uh, Mr. Ozaki, he is allowed to put his name like, like a brand on this beef and it's uh, coming from uh, Kyushu, Miyazaki, from the southern uh, island of uh, Japan. And we really like to work with this beef actually because it has a nice um, um, amount of, of fat compared to the meat. So you don't have only fat with some red sprinkles in between. So you have the feeling that you're eating really like a super fatty foie gras or something. But you have also some nice meat flavor. And I think this is a nice combination of the texture of, uh, of Wagyu and also this melting um, thing when you have it in your mouth on the one side and also with this rich umami flavor but on the other side also you have the feeling that you're eating actually beef so um, we just slice down our, uh, our portion for you now we don't grill it in whole <laughs> even though maybe you want it and uh, Schmidt is going to prepare it on the on the um, grill actually So actually what we did is first grilling it also on the, on the electric grill just to give some stripes and the, the, um, the meat is a little bit roasted first and then we chill it down one time. Um, this has the effect that um, the fat of the beef is not directly melting away and we have the possibility of give a nicer, mm, let's say more obvious uh, crust of the beef. So after chilling it one time down, we put it back on the plancher and then on the charcoal. Because if you would directly go, for example, just on the charcoal or just on the plancher, um, too much fat would uh, come out of the meat and then you would not have this kind of fat melting in, in the meat, but like coming out. So um, this is our technique to, um, to actually roast or to cook the Wagyu beef and then just we let it rest a little bit and this is also happening meanwhile we are already starting with um, dressing the plates actually normally so on the plate we have a uh, combination of um, eggplant and uh, walnuts and some parsley with um, spinach as a combination for the wagyu so we have a uh, compote from uh, eggplants, braised eggplants with um, a little bit of um, shallots inside and some parsley as well. We have our, uh, a walnut just peeled and we have our eggplant which um, we cook as well sous vide because we really cook quite a lot sous vide with vegetables but less with uh, with meat for example or with uh, um, fish um, this eggplant has been cooked sous vide with uh, 
some black garlic and some uh, miso as well and this is a cream made out of uh, parsley and uh, spinach but like two parts parsley one part spinach spinach is more for the texture so you have a kind of smoothness uh, we have our uh, walnut cream like walnuts cooked in uh, milk and a little bit cream with uh, some almond slices together and we just used uh, the Paco Jet to uh, make a cream out of it. Continue with roasted walnuts. So we take the walnuts, we soak it into water, into lukewarm water and um, just then slice it with a truffle slicer and roast it afterwards. This is oxtail braised, like also just classic oxtail braising in the oven. And the onion itself is a, is a Roscoff, Roscoff onion, so from, uh, from France. So just heating it up so it's nice and hot. So we take here some uh, mustard crisps. So when you come next time, we can also go in the garden together because we're working with our, uh, with a garden are very close together and there all the cresses come from. But uh, of course now in the winter time, it's not very interesting to see just uh, soil covered with, uh, with snow actually. But he's growing this in the, in the greenhouse. We have the Wagyu. And this here now is um, uh, a foam with um, uh, the base is uh, um, sweet onion uh, cream, so sweet onion puree. Uh, we put uh, egg yolk inside and then we um, mix it all together, make a kind of emulsion with uh, Wagyu fat. So um, it's, it's almost like a kind of muslin hollandaise thing, but with uh, onion puree as, as the base. And then instead of butter, for example, we use the Wagyu fat because of course um, breaking down the Wagyu um, brings a lot of Wagyu fat with it. Um, we just put it in a pan, uh, roast it until all the fat comes out. And this fat we use as well, and it's very rich in flavor. Um, we put some uh, vinegar as well inside, so it's also kind of acidic. So it's not too 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 rich, not too fatty. You don't you don't think that it's it's just made with uh, wagyu fat. And uh, the sauce itself here, the jus, is uh, a beef jus, classical beef jus, with uh, fermented black pepper. So you have uh, a nice uh, spicy touch together with it. And then this is our uh, main course uh, for you today. Ozaki beef with uh, onions and uh, eggplant and some uh, walnuts. Enjoy.